It is time for the funny car final. That's Matt Hagen, the point leader. And he is racing Tommy Johnson Jr., whose wish is to repeat his first ever funny car win here at Maple Grove with one today. The only thing that we definitely know about this final is that Don Schumacher will smile at the end of it. So he'll probably be standing right in the middle because he doesn't want to show favorites right Absolutely now. Absolutely not, no. Go yeah. ahead, you can predict the rest of it now. <laughs> it's funny car, you can't <laughs> predict funny car. You take a look at Matt Hagen's road to the final. Talk about a consistent race car, and we're talking funny car. I, I can't stress how hard it is to do this. Dickie Venables has done a fantastic job to give Matt Hagen this car. He's got one more round, though. Tommy Johnson Jr. in the other lane has not had a bad race car either. A 404 and a four flat, and then got that lucky break in the semifinals. I think there was probably a mechanical issue that caused those rods to come out. I don't believe it was a tune-up issue. Sure. Don't know that for sure. Hopefully it wasn't because the tune-up they have on this race car, as you look at the first two rounds, that thing's been pretty stout. Well, to put it in perspective, Don Schumacher Racing guaranteed their sixth win in 22 races. Remember last year, though, when they won half of the 24 race schedule? Matt Hagen told me coming in this weekend that because he was not the hunted, but rather the hunter in the points, that he felt very calm. He said he'd never experienced this kind of feeling at a racetrack. But now that he's in the points lead, I ask him, what about now? Do you feel the pressure? He smiled and said, no, but if we get that far, I'll probably feel it at Pomona. Hagen away first. Tommy with a little bobble. Oh! oh and up in flames. Keep it in the middle. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my. He let it up big time. Yes, he did. Flames from every corner, but he kept it in the middle, crossed the finish line, and that is how you extend your lead in the points now to two rounds over John Force with just two races to play. Watch this run. I mean, this thing's been run so well, and then come <laughs> boom. Are you kidding? Wow. First win here at Maple Grove. It was a barn burner to say the least as Matt Hagen gets his 13th career win, which ties him with Chuck Etchells and Raymond Beadle. Mike, you got some marshmallows? I want some s'mores. <laughs> that was bizarre to say the least. Dickie Venables, you kind of shake your head, but you're now the target of everybody in the countdown of the championship. What's it feel to be back at the top of the mountain? Well, it feels great, you know. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there in the final. That was the last thing we are expecting. Uh, you know, we get to race our teammate. That's always a bonus, especially in the final round. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're happy to have the points lead, happy to get the win. Uh, ready for a little break now before the last two. See you in Las Vegas. Thanks. Appreciate it. And Matt Hagen has picked up the trophy. And Matt, what's it like to win a race like that? Man, that is crazy. I tell you, you know, I, I, it just went out there and blew up. I don't know. It just didn't get really much warning or anything. And, uh, you know, you're on fire and you're like, man, you're not seeing him beside you and you want to cross the finish line. And then as soon as the finish line crossed and, uh, you know, you see the wind light come on, you pull the fire bottles and try to get the car, car stopped and you're trying to hold your breath and man alive. But uh, all the glory goes to God. I mean, honestly, you know, I, I said I'm going to turn it over to him. And, uh, you know, right now he's, he, he put a great day uh, with us in his car. Uh, Rocky Boots, all the folks that have been supporting us. You know, it's just cool. I can't say enough about Dickie Venerables. I mean, the guy is phenomenal. I mean, this year we, we struggled a little bit, but when, when it counts, he, he doesn't break under pressure. So I uh, love all my team. My, my guys did a great job. But uh, my little girl, she had a birthday last weekend. We made it to the final, and I didn't get to say happy birthday. So uh, happy birthday, Penny. Love you, baby. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just cool. We got a little burned up, you know, time slip, but it's all You like that, huh? Woo! Yeah! Good stuff, guys. Okay, thank you.